Hey everybody, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see each and every one of you and thank you for tuning in to Beetle Brad's channel. Well, one of our fellow YouTube people, um, Beetle Vinyl 185, <laughs> I have to stop and think of what his title is, Marv. We know him better as Marv. Marv is a great friend. Marv is a great guy. And if you don't watch Marv's channel, what's your problem? <laughs> Marv's a good guy and he's got a fantastic collection and it keeps growing and keeps going and we've got a lot to show um, he's got some great stuff but he did a video and I kind of want to do a follow-up response video as well so this might be a little bit long and it might be fast but I've got a lot to cover um, Marv showed his Canadian vinyl and he showed it in regards to showing it to another YouTube person, Paul, fit to be tie-dyed, who is our U UK. <laughs> well, he's that too as well, but he's definitely our Canadian uh, guru, know-it-all of Canadian pressings. I know he'll say he's not, but he really is very, very knowledgeable of all the Canadian pressings. So I wanted to show just a sampling of some of the Canadian stuff I've got. I love, love Canadian pressings of Beatle albums and solo. The quality of it's just tremendous. But I wanted to kind of get started because, it's, like I said, it's going to be a little while. Um, this album, which is this one, my first one, I'm not going to go through showing the front and the backs of every one of them because we're just basically going after the record label itself. Um, I know this is not a first pressing, but I uh, wanted to show it just the same in my video. Alright. Still in the original shrink. Plastic. Long Tall Sally. Which was going to be Beatles' second album in America. So, and I'm showing each and every one of these so Paul, our expert, can give me an idea of some of the pressings of these. Like I said, I know some of these are not original first pressings, but they're still kind of fun to show and share and enjoy and all that kind of fun stuff. That's my next one. I'm trying to get this to work here. There we go. And the vinyl on that. It's also a purple capital. So I hope everybody's doing well. And I hope everybody's enjoying your days of fun. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video. This is great. Something new. get this straight there we go I know I'm going a little fast for so for those of you that are uh, really interested in this as well uh, what Canadian pressings go ahead and pause on your own and kind of get an idea of what the uh, pressing is Sergeant Pepper Canadian pressing oh yes interesting that the uh, one is a little a lot thinner on the Canadian pressing which that's okay Nothing wrong with that. It's just uh, a little bit thinner than normal. No biggie at all. There's my pressing of um, my Sgt. Pepper album. But like I said, I've enjoyed collecting Canadian albums. And I'll, I'll continue to collect more because I just... Like this one, the Magical Mystery Tour. This is probably the best sounding over my MoFi um, high fidelity one. This is just superior over all of the Magical Mystery Tours that I have. I think that is the best one, uh, sound quality. Um, with some of the Canadian pressings, and I don't know why or how, maybe just from the printing press and Paul, like I said, our expert can tell you and me more about it, but they just have much richer, better sound. Uh, 
Canadian pressing of Abbey Road. And that one as well. And just for fun, I thought I'd throw in some other albums. So we've got some other uh, solo ones to come into this. I, like I said, I didn't pull everything out that I've got Canadian. Because I'm actually a pretty heavy collector when it comes to Canadian vinyl um, of Beatles and solo Beatles. Um, this Let It Be is out of my box set, which I have the uh, box with the booklet and all of that as well, which uh, Paul will know very well about. <laughs> Thank you to Paul. He didn't buy it for me. He just kind of helped me, lead me into a better sale of it. Um, but yeah, there's the Let It Be one. Yeah, and the Let It Be box set, you know, we're getting ready for the anniversary of Let It Be and so much discussion about all that. Pretty darn exciting fun, isn't it? It really, really is. Then this is kind of a really an unusual Beatles album. Uh, the Candle burned out on this one over here couldn't find it and this was kind of during the whole Paul McCartney is dead kind of clues um, and this album kind of went into that and I I liked it I thought it was great um, kind of fun fun one to have and I'm not sure actually I'm not sure the pressing of this of where this one stands in the uh, collection of, of Beatles collecting so, like I said, that's why we're doing this, and that's why Marv did it. I, I thought I'd do a follow-up. I know I've said that. Still in the original shrink. And this has got a interview from Canada. That's one of the reasons why I'm showing this. I, I apologize. You're probably thinking, well, I don't know about that one. Yeah, it's got an interview in here from Canada. Actually, I, I've i got a lot of Canadian video. I really do. I've got a lot of Canadian video stuff. Um, I just ordered actually a couple, well, about a month ago. It hadn't come in yet, but I'm still waiting on it. Um, I ordered a Canadian um, concert of the Beatles in 64 or 5. <laughs> like I said, it was a while ago that I ordered it. I think it's 64, but it's actually the whole DVD of the concert. Uh, Paul McCartney, now we're going to show some solo ones. This was printed in Canada. But like I said, it's the uh, press conference and the concert itself, and it's also a DVD and CD. This is on white vinyl. Kind of neat. I just thought I'd throw in a couple solos just to kind of make it a little bit more different than the average bear video. This one I really think is very, very cool. This is John Lennon's Double Fantasy album. But the unique and cool thing about a lot of the Canadian pressings that I have and solo ones is they actually put the, uh, there we go, the leaf in, there we go, in the actual album to designate and show that it's a Canadian pressing. So I like that a lot. And then this one is also a Canadian from Canada. It's the uh, reissue. And that's a clear one. Clearly you can see that, can't you now? <laughs> Um, and this came, this is the reissue. This came with all kinds of um, posters and little pamphlets and booklets. It's a great picture of John and Yoko. Just some really, really neat stuff. And then you look through this. It's got a card with it. Just for fun, also, um, I drove by the hotel of this downtown Canada uh, where John and Yoko did their bed in for peace. And this is the album of uh, Life Peace in Toronto, which is kind of cool. Uh, we went to Toronto and went to the hotel. It's no longer there, it's a different hotel, but it uh, still is the site, if you want to say, the actual area where John and Yoko did their bed in for peace and 
all of that. So I just kind of threw that in because it's Canada. <clears throat> yeah, okay, moving along. And this one is still in the original shrink wrap. This is Ringo. This is um, Old Wave, which never really... It was released, but not really released. So, but this is my uh, Canadian pressing of that album as well. I know Marv showed that one too of Old Wave. Then, for fun, we'll just show this one. This is from Canada as well. Paul McCartney. It's kind of a highlights album of him in concert. And like I said, I'm not sure of the pressing of this one. I'm kind of leaning towards that this could be a first pressing. Um, just for fun. <laughs> Here, this is still in the original shrink wrap. This is the Beatles live in Vancouver. And this is on the Rainbow album jacket. It's a two record set. Two record set. Yeah, there's no record Rainbow on that. <laughs> it's a bootleg, but I just threw it in there because it was Vancouver. Just thought it was kind of fun. And then. Let's show these just for the just for the great funness of it. But this is a John Lennon CD from Canada. Information down below there on Canada. Another. This is kind of a Beatles compilation with others from Canada. Beatles one from Canada. I'm sorry, I kind of messed up. Let's let's do this just a little bit different. I I just showed you this John Lennon one, um, and here is the get it turned around the CD. I know you wanted to see that. I, I apologize, you guys didn't get to see that. Okay, and then back to this one. Oh, it's an outtake. Get over it. <laughs> Start playing the song. I'm only human. Yeah, really. That one again. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to edit it or redo it or any of that kind of stuff. That's Canadian as well. And I've got some 45s that are from Canada. Don't know where they are. Where are they? Where are they? <laughs> they were right here a few minutes ago. Um... Yeah, you know, I just I just had them, and I don't know where I put them. Not weird. It's like it sprouted legs and walked off. Next Canadian one. So, all right. Can't find it. It's around. It should be like right here. Don't know where I put it, but it's it's around here somewhere. Crying out loud. <laughs> That's what you do when you mess up on a video. You keep going like nothing ever happened. <laughs> so anyway, good fun. And I just thought I'd share this video of some of my Canadian stuff. Like I said, I've got a lot more. Got a lot more other bands um, that, that are uh, Hermits Hermits, Dave Clark Five, Beach Boys. Um, just to name a few bands, uh, some comedy albums, and they're all Canadian as well, and a lot more solo Beatles, but I just thought I'd show these for fun, and uh, hope you enjoyed my video, Marv and Paul. Uh, two great guys on the Vinyl Community channel, and they do terrific videos, both of them. Like I said, Paul also, I did forgot to mention, Paul does videos as well. Uh, fit to be tie-dyed so check him out as well and like I said check out Marv uh, Beatles Vinyl 185 and as for me I'm Beetle Brad <laughs> and you're watching my video so thanks for watching thanks for tuning in it was just kind of a last minute video of pulling stuff together but it was fun to do so as I say on my channel I'm out of here take care everybody thanks for watching See ya.